towards that route. I can't, but just trying to say, hey, the rest of the map is AP. Let's try and just force that raw ID onto the Draven. But Galio <laughs> in response. It's I a actually, somebody like, call Doin B. It's his time to shine, baby. What? Numbers advantage, assuming Alvaro on the reset came out through the mid lane. Mickey was seen help holding bot side, so. MDK Ooh, the knew hook. they were in the lead, and now the hook comes out the taunt as well, and Caps can flash, but can't escape. First blood over to MDK. Very nice punish, very simple as well. Alvaro just connects the hook after Caps tries to force a trade into Friscaui. And given that both mid laners have just been very low the entire laning phase, they're able to convert it into a kill. They even get the flash See, out. From their desperation plays to try and punish Mewin on this chunk. Broken Blade's done a good job of chunking. But look at where Friscaui's pathing as well. He's pathing towards that red, so then he can come in with yeah. the hero's entrance. Oh, and the immediately exhaust. lock them up. The exhaust coming down. Friscaui came out of base and immediately knew his assistance was needed in top MDK. Re for the moment. Mirwin has the lightning crash, the slicing Maelstrom coming out, lightning crash as the response, and Mirwin will look for the chase down here, Broken oh. Blade needs another stun, but Mirwin continues to hit him, and Mirwin will take him out of action. A 1v1 in the top lane while the Drake secured for MDK. The rundown is just there, Mirwin just stat checks the Ken and BB, doesn't expect the amount of damage that comes through on the all-in with the ultimate, and now a TP coming down on bot side. TP behind here as Caps is looking for that flank position. Ooh, Immediately binding. met with a dark binding magnet storm in by Mickey. The shield of Duran looking for the taunt, but the season assist will knock him out of it. Mickey down to 200 HP, and the winds of war have his name on them. It's two for MDK. The hero's entrance coming out, knocked back by Hans Summer, who will get one in response. Broken Blade now joining the fray at 2v3 on the bot side of Super. Tries to distract Caps and BB. Shield of Duran for the taunt again. Can't quite clip Caps, but it does get Broken Blade. And with a dark binding follow up, Ooh. Caps will get another in the end. And he's looking for Frescaui, can he get the damage down? He's got one, and with Tibbers to help him, perhaps he can look for a little bit more. Another stun coming out. Tibbers doing so much work in this fight. Eats the Dark Binding, and Caps with the red buff, picks up. It started as a five versus four, but then the taunt doesn't quite connect. Broken Blade is able to, I think he connects the stun hit. Yeah, yep. and then that sets up for Caps to be able to have enough damage to get the execute with the Q, and then he's able to chase things down thanks to the red buff. Now he out of the hero's I mean, entrance so as well. There so many things in that yeah. fight, but we're so. already into another one. Oh, there we are, Slicing Mouse are coming down. Caps looking for a little bit of damage as well onto Alvaro. Pretty tanky though, got the aftershock off just in time. Depth charge coming out, Broken Blade in the end will get the kill. Now Caps... Not really much he could do in that one, but on the cork here, now on the Zeri. He is definitely dominating the top side of the map. He's sitting on a lot of gold right now. He needs to go back and spend it soon, but he has his sights set on the tower. That's the flash, flash away from the Shattering Strike there for Mickey. A window, a window oh. now. Super. No flash has the barrier. Will it be enough to survive the onslaught from Hans Summer? The answer is an emphatic no. Hans Summer gets his second of the game. Bro, oh, he may have overextended. Doesn't have flash. Look for the hook to terrain. There's the dark shield on him, but even with the hook to terrain, he'll get a bit of a reduced cooldown, but he won't have it up in time to oh, escape. There. Hans. Using things like that, it's not too much of a cost side lane threat. Elioya with the Herald there to support him. This top tower should fall. Easy secure. Get a lightning rush forward, but the Dark Binding coming out. Looks like he has to respect the damage that Mirwin represents. Satic Shivalry. You've got to be pretty fast, and it can also hit multiple members. So I think it gives Caps just a little bit more agency to make plays for G2. We'll see if he can actually end up pulling it. Baron up in a minute's time as well, and with double AD carry, MDK would take it very quickly, but it looks like a fight might erupt before then. TP's behind here, but Clay looking for the flank, he'll be spotted on that control ward, and first off, Caps is down. And Summer needs to open up the slicing match, I'm only gonna hit onto Alvaro. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Mickey is keeping Merwin at bay, and takes him out basically on his lonesome. Alvaro trying to escape, puts the Riptide down, the chase onto Friscaui now, knocked back with the Blast Cone, and there's no way out for him apart from flashing perhaps to the safety of Super. In the end, he falls and... Oh, fair play. Caps makes his uh, tactical death work. <laughs> and now the uh, the balance in this game really hangs between the Draven and the Zeri. Frescaui stepping a little bit too far forward, not back. The hook coming out, though, from Alvaro is the slice. And Mastrop hits on the back line with the well. Death coming out as well. And Yoya goes down. Super trying to trade towards the top side. Caps no flash on him, but will put Timbers down to take the kill. Alvaro is going to die to Hans Summer, who's now on... Because they think, oh... They don't have TPs, they can't collapse, but I think Caps did in fact TP. It's just a really questionable fight as well for another reason, and like, you just had no exhaust right again, you just Blast going forward, shielded Duran immediately. Kusha Barrage coming out as well as Mickey has to flash away, but Mirwin here to join the party. Lands in with the lightning crash, they'll kill off one, Mickey falls. 
And they might look for more. They'll take the tier two in the top lane. But it's the Mirwin dip, right? He is where the gold is sitting. I on. see very little armor. And I think we're getting another fight. He caught with the binding, there's the hook to follow up. Alioya takes a chunk from an axe from Han Summer. First exhaust is used on Caps before he pops the Tibbers. The slicing Maelstrom coming out and no second exhaust to follow. Season and assist on the backline and Han Summer's flashing all forward. He can see blood in the water, the river painted with MDK's entrails and MDK are forced to wait. It's a one for three exchange in favor of G2. And Han Summer, like you were saying, Vedius, he manages to carry the fight in the end. What happened there was the fight was quite slow around that Black Shield cooldown. The Black Shield came out and then G2, they took a step back, waited for the Black Shield to expire, then re-engaged again. Managed to pick up the carries in the end, Super Falls as well. And now, the Nash for G2. MDK thought they had found another pick. The binding was good, but Mickey, he just didn't fall fast yeah. enough. The damage wasn't quite there, and unfortunately for MDK, it was Muin who fell. And now look at this oh, ultimate to be able to provide that peer. But as you saw, Muin died. Oh, and mutually they jump oh. in on him again. <laughs> Morgana's super punishing. If you ever mess up, if you ever mess up your black shield, you lose the entire team fight. So there's so much pressure on El Yoya here. So far, it's a tier two for a tier two on this exchange. You can see MDK starting to back away, but they're going to lose the inhibitor tower. Will they lose more? Broken Blade has a TP. G2 likely to continue this advance. They start to back away, the binding connecting, hook out from Alvaro, Mickey looking for the stun, Alvaro able to sidestep it. And because of the flank possibility, it looks like G2 have backed off Mickey a little bit slower than he'd like the hook. Sneaking around the back, can't they quite land it. Just be patient, wait for Broken Blade to siege onto mid, all five members of MDK are collapsing to find something special, hook wide, for Scowie going for that Mega Blast cone. To the pit, a possibility teaming up with MDK, Shield of Duran coming out. If Escawi's found nothing yet, and I think perhaps his hype is a short lived and overdone. There's Alvaro on that front line, Caps looking for the sun, lands it. No, Escawi's still flanking. There's the tippers down, Alvaro down to half HP. Mickey looking for the Magnus Storm, the Shield of Duran, the flank! The unseen Galio truly is the deadliest! But is this enough for MDK? The hero's entrance from Frescawi buys them a second. So far they found two in the fight, but with the slicing mouse from coming out from Broken Blade, is he gonna be locked up enough in time? And Summer still alive, but Broken Blade still basically full HP, and now in a 2v3, BB and Hans Summer have to do what Mirwin and Super did in game two. Broken Blade looking for the sun, quite quite line the damage onto Super. Shielded Durand. The lightning rushes gets him out, and Hans Summer steps forward, realizes he can't help out his top much longer, and starts to back away. And Lioia looking for something across the wall. Frescawi still on the chase. Hun Summer trying to get away. Caps up in 15, but the stun lands. So does the cleanse. Dark binding. Oh, oh. rise in these kinds of fights. Even chasing into these chokes. But another engage comes out. Right going in. Immediately locked up. There's the dredge line as well into the binding. Shadowing strike on Alvaro will get the stun. Death charge. Jike dodging to the side, but goes back in with the season to assist and falls to Lioia. Oh, Broken blade on the front line. Now pops the slice him out from flashes away. The Magnus Storm in by Mickey. Vegeta are all out of rears. MDK have found two already. And with the lightning crashing down, Mirwin's looking to strike twice. Hun Summer flashes a away from the Ultra Shock laser. Tibber's doing enough work on the back line to almost kill off Alvaro, but MDK have got their prize from this. Maybe they want a little bit extra at the end. Ultra Shock laser dodged, but Mirwin on the flank means that I don't think Caps is getting away from this when Mirwin dashes across the wall and Caps will fall to MDK. So the engage by when you TP on a control ward, it is visible oh, to the enemy team. Caps a little bit overextended, flashes oh, forward, they go for Mirwin, but he missed as you say, and Caps is made to pay the price. Super and Mirwin are having a field day here. Cease and desist. Anything you wanted to do, G2. Even with a slicing Maelstrom on the back line, Broken Blade can't do enough to take down Super. MDK will wipe them off. The ultimate, they can an ultimate, and the ultimate. It's not enough. They lose the team fight and now the base. I wonder if they can actually look to end the game here. There's still relatively long death time as Caps is going to be up in 10 seconds. MDK is going to go for it. Alvaro can just tank it, and you have the three grubs to help you out. Mickey there for the stun. Caps up in two seconds, but already the Nexus Towers are going to be deleted. Caps here has the stun prime. Super dashes away. Here comes Yike trying to stop Super from taking down that Nexus. Super's locked up in time. Frescawi, do you have the oh, damage? No. They don't. They're both tanks. And on the edge of it, on the edge of the two That's zone, so they can't quite make it happen. G2 hold on to hope. Now there's the potential of the Baron. They have to be concede the Dragon. 
but it will be the Baron. MBK, I respect the attempt. That Nexus with a, was a few auto attacks away from death. The thing about having five sweepers is that you have no blue trinket, and that can be quite scary if the enemy team's already on the objective because you can't face check. Right? You have to use your bodies to face check rather than a ward. So that could be an angle G2 leverage if the enemy team has forced a face check into you. Hook landing onto Mickey. No shadowing strike for him. The binding coming down as well. Hans Summer trying to open up on Alvaro. Mickey on the wrong side of the wall, oh. and MDK have already got their first of the break. Hans Summer now having to run away. G2, with two. MDK will get the Baron. He's on the edge where he's not quite dying, but Super. taking damage. Super, he's been spotted. And Yike goes in oh, with no. the flash. Cease and desist coming out as well. The hero's entrance won't give him a big enough shield. G2 find one. Mickey looking for the flank as well. He can go in. Has that Magnus Storm available. Frisk Howie on the front line. He'll fall too. G2 are looking for more. There's Tibbers. Mill and Ella Yoy are the last two men standing. Oh, but Mill can really open up. And Yoy is still basically full HP. He lands the binding. And now it ends up in a 2v2. And Summer has six items, a flash and a cleanse. Going wide, Summoners. On Summer has Flash, Cleanse, Broken Blade has the Flash, Super has a Flash, as does Mirwin, those are the two important targets. Alvaro down to half HP though, and Han Summer sinks an axe in his back and sends him packing. Now Han Summer with the Bloodthirster can really open up. He's got a Mortal Reminder now as well, switched his itemization around a little bit to try and reduce the healing coming out from MDK. They're gonna chase a little bit further. TP out by Frescawi, TP in oh, by oh, Broken oh, Blade, baby. trying to answer it. Chris Gary with a good TP to the Nexus Towers will save the base. The confidence we saw from Hansom, you saw him just run to the face of me when it yeah. exhaust me. I dare you. Keep Although it does seem like Alvaro is getting caught Lewin. out a little bit as Mirwin dashes forward and Yike locks him with the season the assist. He immediately puts out the exhaust, but it's not going to be enough. And now Chris Gowie is behind enemy lines. He tries to get off his cap. He's put send the shield of Duran for the taunt. Broken Blade looking for that flank has the flash. MDK retreating together through their jungle. Oh, towards. Counts as TP. Going to use it on the super. Ooh. Alvaro's hook just going wide. Hans Summer still has the flash and the cleanse. The cannon mini now falls. No backdoor bonus remaining. G2 still take the turret. Double super news to bounce back and forth every team fight a roller coaster of emotion for both these squads i will say that uh, i do there by elio and mirwin who are waiting in a control the control board the apps apps looking he for it. he flashes they land the sun hero's just coming out of super tries to flash away the magnus storm gets mickey on the back line but super still surviving tibbers with the chase down alongside the cease and desist yike is now in the enemy base and he doesn't really have the teammates to support him here but it may he amazingly manages to take down alvaro yike doing so much work here surviving for so long broken blade's gonna base and tp back in hans summer flashes forward mirwin flashes away it's a 3v3 and mdk have to try and defend their base I think Mirwin expected Hans, sorry, Hans expected to do more damage to Mirwin there, but through the randoms he just didn't, he committed his flash. Now the question is, can they end? Can they hit these towers freely? Broken Blade has a flash of the slicing Maelstrom still, as you say. The first Nexus tower falls in an instant, like a hot knife through butter. G2 are melting through these structures. It's all on MDK. Can you find something? Can you find that miracle play to defend? Old Shock Laser out by Mirwin, he's dashes across. The Nexus, Frescawi going in, shoot a Duran for the taunt on Cavs, but no real follow-up. There's the slicing Maelstrom that G2 were waiting for, slicing through the hearts of NDK. And having their Nexus at 200 HP, G2 somehow go 2-1 up in the series. Excellent 